Okay. It's it's on, buddy. All right. I'm going to show you how to mount an external transducer for a helix or whatever you want to put on your trolling motor to the Tarova or any other trolling motor that has like the iPilot where the where the shaft goes up and down and and your stuff can't get bound up. So here's what I came up with after about 15 YouTube videos and I don't know how much time on Google. This works. We've tested it. It doesn't bind up. It's clean. There's nothing wrong with the chain, the bike chain, but I don't want all I don't want all that nastiness hanging down on my boat. I, I don't like that. It, it just does not look clean to me. I tried doing like a hummingbird uh, 360 imaging rod, which by the time I got it out far enough so the trolling motor didn't hit it, looked gaudy. I mean, it was terrible. So here's what I came up with. I went. I went to Harbor Freight and bought the cheap air hose, the quarter inch air hose. It's got, it's already got a natural coil. The inside diameter of this hose is quarter inch, which is the same size as, as the Hummingbird Helix transducer wire. So you know that the only solid part on, on this style of motors is this. This is your pivot point. So you know this is solid. It's not gonna move. So, You can push this down. This un unwinds right here. Locks in fine. And then Booyah. The, this is clean on the shaft. I've got more than enough coil. I can We can spin this around three or four times and it's not even going to come close to binding. And I zip tied my transducer. I bought the clamp from Bass Pro. You know this is your pivot point. So this is solid. So you anchor to here. You anchor to here, and then you can run it straight down into your boat and up to your unit because this, this does not move. So then when you get done, all you got to do, push it right back up. It's all coiled, stays on the shaft. You don't have nothing going up here on top. You don't have anything going on over here. The DI works, all that works. Because that's why I wanted this, because I wanted to run my DI instead of just 2D with what comes with the head on the Taroba. So there's an option. I don't know, take it for what it is, but that's the simplest, cleanest method that I've found to come up with the problem that you get into with these style of trolling motors when trying to mount a, an external transducer wire. So give that a try. Thanks.